one a day vitamin? Is that worth doing, or is that just a waste of time? Yeah. My opinion on vitamins is that we should supplement what's deficient, but not necessarily just chew from the hip and just take big doses of things. My issues with multivitamins is many of them have too much. If you have too much vitamin A, for example, and you're a smoker, increased risk of cancer. So you don't want to take too much of things. Now, and a lot of times they don't have enough vitamin D3, they just have a lot of other things. So I actually measure, you know, again, measure vitamin D levels. If I am concerned somebody's vitamin B deficient, I'll measure B12 and B6 levels. And if they are deficient, we'll recommend replacement of those specific deficiencies, but not necessarily just a random multivitamin. Some of the multivitamins are better than others. I think if, you're, if you want to take one because you feel better on one, I would just make sure that, that most of the, the uh, components that are in there aren't, you know, 5,000% of the daily value is in this product because that's usually too much. So I don't, I don't personally take multivitamins. I take vitamin D. I take fish oil personally. So, yeah. You get vitamin D from milk, right? No, no. You get vitamin D from milk, yes. But a gallon of milk has 400 units of vitamin D3. <laughs> and I'm telling you to take probably most people need one to two thousand, and if you're deficient, two to five thousand. So, it's a lot of milk. It's a lot of milk. Well, it's not. There's other stuff that, that's not good about drinking that much milk. So, yeah, it's hard to get vitamin D in all honesty at those real high doses from food. It's kind of tough to get it from food if you're taking real high doses. But sometimes if you're just trying to get a gram or a thousand milligrams, you could probably get away with that. Most people can very safely take one to two thousand milligrams of vitamin D3 even without checking a level. To get to a toxic level of vitamin D3, you'd have to take a lot more than that. But if you're deficient, one to two thousand may not be enough. So sometimes it's good to at least at one point get a level and you can ask your doctor for that. Because they can just do a blood test to assess your vitamin D level.